up, YouTubers? We are back with another episode of Our 60 Journey. My name is Lucas, and I am here to help us all grow into better relationships. So today, I want to talk about the relationship you have with yourself. Every single day, we are presented with opportunities to witness our failure. It can be a failure right now. It can be a failure of possibles tomorrow. It can be a failure of things counted for yesterday. Failure pops up. As Yoda says in the latest episode of Star Wars, yes, the greatest teacher failure is. The choice we have with ourselves when, have, when relating to us is how can we choose to see the things around us as positive. Okay, you're behind on something. This person's not talking to you. You didn't have that opportunity. This didn't happen in the past. That, man, that tree over there is like dying. Why don't they pull, pull it up? I made all those things up. They're presented to us every single day. And we have to become accountable for what it is we're focusing on. And the way this relates to our 60 journey is that the energy that we carry and we vibrate with attracts other energies to us. Those energies are attracted like magnets. Are there people out there that wish you harm? Yes. Do we have to allow them in? No. Are there people out there who are going to manipulate you and, get, and, and convince you that you need to give them something that you really don't want to? Yes. But do you allow them? No. And I think what's happening right now for me is that there's this energy popping up in my head of when people come to me complaining about things that aren't working, I want to go take a step back. What are you learning from all of this? What are you grateful for? What is it in your life that is working? And you start building this momentum Oh. of energy that starts bringing forth better manifestations for you. Because is there destiny? Yes, I would say so. Do we have a, a fate predetermined and sort of written by some higher power? Probably, I might say so. Do we have free will and the ability to choose to walk either path? Yeah, I would probably say so. We have those things. And so, it's like Forrest Gump says, his mother told him that life is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You're handed something. And then Lieutenant Dan told him, no, you make your own life. This is your life you choose. But the truth is, we're in the middle. That's part of our connection to Earth. I believe Earth is what gives us the ability to choose. We are on a planet and a plane of reality that we can choose to make steps. We can dig something out, we can build something up, we can focus on the positive, we can focus on the negative. And then from above is this divine energy sorting down, helping guide us towards our best path. But we still have choice. You might have been destined to become the greatest magician in the world. Did you practice? Did you put yourself out there? I, there are so many times that people call in and they say, I'm just not finding love. Love's not showing up for me. And up to this point, almost every person, I've had to say, do you go anywhere? Do you do anything? Are you saying hello to the people that you meet out when you are in public? So you're at a grocery store, and all of a sudden you see someone that catches your eye, they catch your eye, you have like a three, four, five second glance. Say hello to them. That door just opened. And m many people, and I've been this person too, are afraid of walking over to that person saying hello and then them saying something that's not what we want. We're talking, oh, I'm married. Okay. But you built power inside yourself. You built confidence inside yourself 
to then go do it again. I, I have this analogy right now of two sisters. They're twins. One of them is really outgoing and one of them is, one of them is really shy. They're both choosing. She's choosing to be outgoing. She's choosing to be shy. You can be handed a personality trait. Does that mean you have to chase it? No. You know, I come from a family of anger. Anger is a big thing in my family. Both parents have anger inside them. And they've both grown beyond it. But I was handed that anger. It's inside me. I witnessed it. But it's always a choice to have the anger. And so my message today is choose the life that makes you happy. You know, if you don't have love today, that's okay. Love yourself. If you don't have money today, that's okay. Give yourself a bath. Give yourself the energy that you want and it will show up. And then when it shows up and it's right for you, receive it. You know, that's the thing too, is people, they spend so much time what they don't have. And then when it finally does show up, they don't feel worthy of it. And so they don't accept it. We have to be inside of our mind in a certain place when it comes to perspective and awareness. And then we also have to turn on our reception, our vacuum, when it comes to taking in the energy that suits us and serves us. And so that's my message today. Take accountability for your life. And then take note of all the things that are going right. And I promise you will find what it is you need. The universe gives what we give. Life is but an echo. All right, guys. Woo-wee! That was a fun video. Hope you guys have a great day. Click subscribe, click like, share with your friends. This is Lucas.